Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril and in this video I'm going to show you, uh, well, we are in front of a monitor and something is happening. So right now I'm going to turn my computer so we can focus on the device itself. So this is a um, HP T630 thin client and something is happening with this device, with the desktop computer. So we'll go back, I'm going to turn it on. So we're going to wait a few seconds for it to boot up and you see the HP logo. And right after that, we're going to see this message, enter power on password. And as you can imagine, I don't have it. So you hear the, the beep or the ding <laughs> and I don't have the password. So we cannot do anything on this computer. So we cannot uh, reset the password using software. We're going to do it using hardware. I don't have anything else to do here. So I'm just going to shut it down. So now allow me a few seconds to adjust my camera so you can see it better. So we're going to move, first we're going to disconnect everything, the power, the keyboard, the mouse, the VGA cable for the monitor, and then we're going to move the keyboard somewhere else. So now I'm going to remove everything, anything that I might be using in my, in my hands, like jewelry and, and, and watches, as you can see there, I don't have anything. And now I'm going to show you around. So I think, well, this is an HP. We have seen the model already. We can see um, the audio jack. We can see the USB in the front, the power button there. And if you don't, if you don't know what a thin client is, I'm going to try to explain it in a few words. So it's a computer that it calls, it's more affordable than a regular one, let's say. And it has a lesser processor. For example, this one has, um, AMD and right now is a good time to remind you to subscribe to the channel and like this video for the YouTube algorithm. And uh, the perks of these kind of computers is that they are, well, like I said, more affordable and you can use it for lesser uh, task. For example, uh, in the place uh, uh, from the place I took this one from, they use it for kind of um, showing clips, showing videos, so a very low usage of proce processing power. So now I'm going to press the power button for around 10 to 15 seconds. The video is sped up, so you don't have to wait all the time. So this is to get rid of the power storing the capacitors. So I'm showing you around. You can see the network a port. You can see the P, what is now PS2 connector for mouse and keyboard. You can see the serial there. You can see the projector uh, ports, more USB in the back. So in total of six, uh, we can you can see the VGA um, cable for the monitor and the power, of course. So now in the back, if you if I take this out, you're going to see all the information for this computer. You're going to see the serial number, uh, the MAC address for the Wi-Fi and for the cable for the regular uh, cable network. So you have all that information if you want to, let's say, update, update the BIOS or check the warranty on this device. So now um, it, all the surface is plastic. It's very sturdy. Uh, so that's a really good thing. And now we are, I'm going to remove this. Uh, you can see there, I'm going to do it again. So just with your uh, fingernail, you remove it like that. It's very easy. So now um, what we are going to see, we have to look for a lock. And you see that green thing over there? That one. So right now it's locked and we have to unlock it, of course. So you just move it to the right in this case. And this is uh, to remove the cover. So now we are, like I said, we are going to unlock it like that. It's pretty easy. And now we have to take out the cover. So I have to pull it to myself where, I mean, my thumb is, let's say, but I was doing it the wrong, the, the wrong way. So in the end, I, I, I got it. So right now I'm trying to do it and I just did it. So as you can see here, it's a little out. So I'm just explaining how to do it. You have to do it to yourself. Uh, I mean, you have to uh, push it to yourself. So now I'm going to remove it. As you can see here, the, it says how to remove or install more RAM on it. So I'm going to show you in a few more seconds. Uh, allow me to adjust my camera. And as you can see here, this is a regular motherboard. Uh, we are going to see the sync, the heat sink on the right. Uh, this is the processor, which is an AMD, as I mentioned. Now we can see a USB there. So I believe you can, uh, you can boot an operating system from there. I'm not really sure, uh, but you have that perk here. So you see the SSD, which is uh, the hard drive, 
and you have the RAM, the RAM slots there. So what we are looking in this one is something with a jumper. So you are going to see what a jumper looks like if you have never seen one. And we have to look for words like password or PSW something. So if you look closely to that one, it says PSW or something like that. So don't make sure you are taking out the right one. We don't want to mess with the others. And right on the top, we can see this button. If you press it, it's going to delete all the configuration for the BIOS, but not the password. For example, the date, what boot uh, device you choose for the computer to boot that first, but not the passwords, okay? So for the password, we have to take out this jumper. Just with, your, with the tip of your fingers, you, I'm not touching the motherboard because I don't need it. And you can leave the, um, the jumper there because it's, um, it's going to work anyway, or you can just remove it. In this case, I'm just going to remove it. And now that's pretty much what we have to do. Uh, next, we are going to connect everything back. I'm not going to put the cover because it doesn't ma make much sense to put it. So I'm just going to leave it like that. So I'm going to connect everything. Like I was saying, most of the thin clients in the world, they come with Linux. It doesn't mean you cannot install uh, Windows, but some don't, don't allow you to do that because of the processor. So now allow me a, a few seconds to adjust my camera. Um, and I'm just going to turn on the, the, the desktop computer and we're going to see what happens. So you see it power on, I'm pressing escape to go to the BIOS itself, but I lost the window. So the computer doesn't have an operating system yet. So I'm just going to uh, restart the computer. We don't have it to do anything else. So I'm going to turn it on again and I'm pressing escape now very, very quick. And now we are in the menu. So from here, we have, don't forget, you have to press escape. You have to go to computer setup or press F10. And now we are in the classic old fashioned blue screen BIOS, okay? So from here, well, I'm going to adjust my camera. You can see their HP Inc. Setup utility. Um, now I'm going to go to security. Well, you can see the system information there and all that. And I'm going to, um, this is the password that, wa that, is, that was configured, the power on password. So you, is, uh, it has been removed now. If you want, you can put another. It's always advisable to do it, in my opinion. And the other setup is for the BIOS itself. For example, if, you, if this password was set up, it's not going to ask you a password when the computer boots up, but if you want to access the BIOS where we are right now, it's going to ask you for a password. So for either of these two passwords, if you remove the, the jumper like, like we have done in this video, uh, the password are, uh, both passwords are going to be um, removed or deleted, okay? So in, in this case, um, you can see all the other options here. And now I'm just going to go to ignore changes and exit. So that's all we have to do. And I'm going to update the BIOS version for this computer in, in the future. When that's done, you can find the link in the video below or in the top right of this screen. So allow me a few, a few seconds to adjust my camera one more time. Uh, we have to put back the jumper and the cover. So now I'm going to disconnect everything again one more time and then we're going to proceed so this video sped up in a few places like you have noticed and now i'm looking for the jumper because the motherboard it rotated and by the way you have an extra space for an ssd so if you have an extra sd you have to add more storage to it you have a slot for that again i'm not wearing any jewelry or or watches and um and i and I forgot to do something else, if I remember correctly. I have to locate the, the two pins. So I have the jumper with me in my hand and you just have to look for PSBWD. Sometimes it says password, sometimes it's PBWD. That's pretty much it. And just put it back. It's really simple. You just push it very gently. And now uh, what we are going to do is we are going to put the cover back, which is, I, I think, the last step. So as you can see here, I'm going to put it back. I'm not sure how it goes, but I'm going to find it out. So you have to push it like that, but I believe it's, uh, uh, it's too far. So yeah, that, this, is, this is way better. So I'm going to push it and that's pretty much it. You are not going to hear a click in this case. It's just very, pretty simple. You just push it a little hard and you make sure that it's not moving. So that's what I'm making sure in this part. So now, 
we, we are going to put this. But before, remember we have unlock it using that green um, button. What is it? We have to lock it one more time. So here I'm trying to put it, but it's in the wrong location and I haven't locked it yet. So I'm going to realize that in a few more seconds. So here, um, here's the lock and I'm rotating it again. And now we, you have to lock it back. So if you cannot lock it, it means that the cover, you didn't put it correctly. So you have to make sure that everything is in place. So now it's locked one more time and we're going to put this part. So we're going to start from the other side like that. We make these two things fit and you just have to press it down. That part is pretty, pretty easy. And then you're ready. Then you, are, you connect everything and you have everything working as we have seen a few seconds ago. So that's how you do it in this video. That's how you reset the BIOS password or the Buddha password for this model, for this HP ThinkLine. So thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or question, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.